Hello and welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can troubleshoot some of the Jira access issues or some of the permission, global permission issues that are very common when you are working as a Jira administrator in the organization. So many times as a Jira administrator, you would have, uh, you will get a questions like, uh, I do not have this permission. I do not have a, a permission to do the bulk change or bulk edit the issues. So these sort of issues, how can you go ahead and uh, analyze what exactly the issue is and solve the issue. So in this tutorial, we'll see uh, the access issue first for a particular user and then see how you can go ahead and troubleshoot and resolve that particular issue. So as we have seen in the previous tutorial that I have added M Kumar as a Jira system administrator and in the global permission and when M Kumar logs into the system uh, Jira uh, instance as a Jira system administrator he is not able to do the bulk change of the issue so if he goes to the issues and search uh, the issue now in the right hand side you see the tools um, button here so if you click on the uh, the arrow you see no options are available so m kumar as a system administrator cannot do any of the bulk edit or bulk change to the issues which in turn i mean uh, as a system administrator he shouldn't be uh, much um, uh, in in ideal scenarios i don't think system administrators will be interested to do any sort of bulk changes in the project but this is this uh, example i'm taking is just to show you that this might be possibility with any of the users so not just like system uh, admin user that i'm i'm referring to at the moment but there might be any other group say developers group uh, and a user in the developer group cannot uh, do the bulk change so how will you go ahead and proceed and fix that particular access issue so the steps will be similar at the moment i have just taken an example of the m of the user m kumar who is part of the system administrator group but it doesn't matter which group or which which user it is uh, or which part of the group it, it, that particular user is in your organization the step to troubleshoot and fix the issue will be same so let's see let's log off and then log in as an administrator jira admin and then try to fix oops sorry i log off and then log in again and i log in as myself because i'm the jira administrator and then go to the system re-enter the password now let's go to the global permission because we know that bulk change or bulk editing issue is the global permission and now we are here in the global permissions page or Jira permission so we have seen Jira system administrator and Jira administrator M Kumar is part of the Jira system administrator and he is not able to do the bulk change what is the reason for that now M Kumar is only part of the Jira system administrators group. He is not part of any of the other groups that are having access to do the bulk change. And that's the reason he is not able to do any bulk change or he won't be even allowed to do manage groups, filter subscription, create shared objects or browse users because he is not part of any of the groups that you see here, the four groups. Uh, that have that global permission so what we need to do is in order to give access to M Kumar to bulk change the issues what needs to be done is his group which is Jira system administrators group need to be added in the bulk change global permission how you can do it you can simply select the permission bulk change and whom you want to assign it uh, you want to assign it to Jira system administrators and click on add now you can see Jira system administrators group has been added in the bulk change global permission and now if you go back and log in as M Kumar 
he should be able to do the bulk edit of the issues he would still not be able to do manage group filter subscription care, create shared objects and browse users however he'll be able to do bulk change if you want him to have permission of browse users create shared objects and manage group filters filter subscriptions as well you need to go back in the permission select each of the permission that you want to provide to him and then select the group in which that particular user is part of so either you select the the user um, the group of the user which he is part of or you can add that particular user in the group which is mentioned here so for example you can add m kumar to jira core users or jira software users as well depending what how the jira setup has been done uh, in your organization how you are managing it and then that particular user will be able to access the global permission accordingly now i have added m kumar or jira system administrators in the bulk change global permission now let's log off as admin login as m kumar again and see that he is able to do the bulk change now now i'm again logged in as m kumar i'll go to the issues and go to the tools menu again and now here you can see that in the drop down as compared to previous uh, instance uh, now you he has option to do the bulk chain so you can just select all 24 issues uh, and go next so now he can proceed and do the issue or bulk edit the issues in the Jira instance so this is uh, the live sort of access issue and um, th these are the type of access or global permission issues that you might get in your organization as a jira administrator and there are some you know like steps that you need to follow in order to troubleshoot and resolve these access issues thank you very much for watching and in next tutorial we'll cover more around the global permission assigning and removal of the global permission from the groups thank you